What's up guys, Hong Goji Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so today I'm going to answer uh, one of the guys uh, questions. So this question is from SBT Alex. Great video OG, I'm um, 36 and been debating whether to take judo again or not. Practiced for a few years when I was a teen, loved it. The only thing holding me back is the fear of permanent or long-term disabilitating injury, right? I love sports, uh, do a lot of calisthenics, gymnastics, and conditioning training. And my objective is to keep on doing sports till the end with a focus on longevity. There is only that many times you can push and break records until one record finally breaks you. Appreciate your views, bro. Okay, so thank you very much for the question, uh, Alex. If you're that concerned about uh, injury, judo is not the place to be. <laughs> you should do BJJ instead. It, it's a lot less dangerous because you're already on the ground, so you can't fall, right? You're already there. <laughs> not to say that you can't get injured. I mean, it all depends on how intense you go about it, how you do, how much maintenance you actually do on your body, but BJJ is much more, is safer than judo. Now, I started at 36, but I also don't give up. I'm crazy guys. I'm a little bit extreme. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those rare people and, and, and this is not a knock on you, Alex. Okay. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's a good thing to be crazy and to just do what I do. Like I have a lot of injuries I'm dealing with. You know, I have my shoulder here that that's problematic. I got sciatica now at this point, I got some, uh, uh, scoliosis right on my spine uh, some uh, osteophytes you know and uh, like a pinched nerve which causes the sciatica uh, my elbow had surgery here my my uh, right ankle doesn't have the full mobility the ligaments in my knees are all partially torn right and I'm still going. That's not a logical thing at all that's just being uh, a little bit crazy it's not because I'm stupid it's and it's a little bit crazy but in that craziness is is what I believe to be uh, it's just who I am. It's, it's my passion. It's my life. I love grappling. This is my, uh, this is my thing. This is my chosen uh, sport. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to stop me from practicing, from competing. Unless of course I end up in a wheelchair and like I can't use my legs, then okay, it's pretty much over. I've, I've come to realize that, you know, everybody's different. I do everything I can right to, um, to, to manage my injuries and to avoid, uh, new ones, right? And, uh, you know, so I train smart. I'm very careful about that. And of course, I'm trying to rehab a lot of my injuries too by doing a lot of um, weightlifting, conditioning, and so on. But still, it's not, it's not a logical thing. It's, it's insane because who I am and because I had this very, this dream, this objective of, uh, you know, well, first of all, getting the black belt and then after that competing and getting a title, a national title and a world title. Maybe that's not what you were waiting for. But if you're worried about, um, you're more concerned about your injuries and your livelihood and all that than, you know, practicing judo for the fun, for the sake of doing the sport and, 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 and you can live without it, then live without it. I know it's kind of, uh, um, it might be surprising to a lot of you guys because, you know, me as a judoka, like I, I push it a lot. I'm very biased. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a great sport. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I'm smart enough to understand that, dude, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Like if you're worried about that, then don't do it. If you play a sport where there's no contact, but still it's dynamic, you're moving around, there's always that risk, uh, you know? And, and, and the way I see it is like, hey, life is risk, man. You know, like even if you don't do nothing, you're gonna end up uh, one way or another um, busted up, you know? Even if you do gymnastics and you do it hardcore, like you're gonna end up with some wear and tear issues also. And accidents do happen in, uh, in, in those kind of sports too. Um, calisthenics, <laughs> you know, you overdo it, you could get injured too, but I mean the, it's not the same thing. Whereas, you know, when you do a contact sport, like risk is really high, you know, it could be uh, brutal, you know, when you get injured and uh, it could be inca incapacitating. It could be something that's permanent, uh, you know, because once you get injured, the injury never goes back to hundred, like it doesn't heal a hundred percent. So my suggestion to you, Alex, is that if you can live without judo and, and you're worried, uh, really worried about the potentials of, uh, of the dangers of judo, of injury, permanent injury, long-term injury, and all that, then judo is not for you. <laughs> um, now, I'm not saying I'm not gonna regret this one day, or not, I'm not saying I'm, actually, no, I'm not gonna regret it. You know, I don't, um, I don't believe in, um, uh, how do you say it? Not going after what I want. So, I hope that made sense, I hope that helped. Uh, what would you guys do if you were, uh, what you have, uh, you know, if you were in Alex's shoes? Or uh, what would you do if uh, you were in, well, in your own shoes, really, right? Okay, guys. 
that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.